Hey squad, welcome back. Today we're going to be exploring some more fantastic Logic Pro drummer capabilities and we'll be featuring the rock drummer. So let me show you how I go about achieving that big rock drumming sound right here in Logic Pro using Logic Pro Drummer, Parallel Compression and some of my favorite plugins that I love to use on drums. Now if you haven't watched any of my previous Logic Pro Drummer videos, make sure you check out this playlist. I've got a ton of information and examples on how powerful this fantastic AI drummer is. Today's video is just going to be adding on top of what we've already covered. And one more thing, there'll be a link in the description for you to download this Logic project file so you can experiment to your heart's content and explore exactly what I've been demonstrating right here. So let's add an instance of the Logic Pro Drummer. Just come up here and we can choose from the different genres. And now we're going to select rock. And over here in the library section, you can see we've got six fantastic rock drummers that we can choose from in terms of style. Now, in addition to the actual drummers, the actual players, we've got a whole host of fantastic live drum kits right here to choose from, as well as a ton of additional producer kits to give us even more control. But I've covered all of this in a previous video. Today's focus is mainly about getting a fantastic big rock drumming sound. So let's start right here. I've got this Logic drummer part and a bass line on screen. For the drummer, we're using Kyle as our pop rock drummer and we're using the sunset kit. The beat preset is half pipe and this is where I've positioned the complexity and intensity node on the graph. We're just using a kick, snare and hi-hat and I haven't changed anything else over here. So let's listen to how these two sound together. Bearing in mind that on the Logic Drummer track, all we've got is this EQ where there's no adjustment and this compressor right here. These are the default plugins on the actual Drummer track. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool as a very basic starting point. However, we're gonna transform this into something really, really cool. Okay, first things first, let's extend this arrangement from eight bars to 16 bars. And what I'm gonna do is repeat this drummer part. So we've got 16 bars and I'm just gonna extend this out. So we've got 16 bars here as well. Now, one of the most fantastic and usable features in Logic Drummer is the follow function just down here. So what we're gonna do right here, is select the second of these two eight bar regions, which are exactly the same, they're a duplicate. This second eight bar of drums is an exact duplicate of the first eight bars of drums, but select the second eight bars and switch on follow. And we're gonna follow the bass. If we had more instruments, they'd all be listed here, but we're following the bass line. And let's do that once again. Look at the impulse pattern on the region, how it changes when I select follow. Right, you can see that changes. And what's gonna happen now, I've covered it in the past, the drummer will now be following what the bass player is doing. Let's have a listen. So now you see the power of the follow feature. Let's switch it on for both sections because we want both of these sections to follow the bass line. But on this second eight bars, we're gonna increase the complexity a little bit more and we're gonna mess with the fill. So th there is some variation between the two eight bar sections. Let's play from here. Okay, so moving on from those features, like I said, we've covered much of this in the past. I just want to remind you as well that if you open up the drum kit itself, you can tune each of the drums like so. You click on the drum, you've got tuning, dampening and gain for the toms, the snare and all of these. You can, you've got a lot of control over your drums. Now, if you're still with me up to this point, why not like the video if you're enjoying it and subscribe to the channel if I'm bringing you value. All right. 
let's continue. Now, one of the best processes to help you fatten your drums, whatever the genre, and that is the process of parallel compression. One way for us to achieve this process using the Logic Drama Track is to come over here to the auxiliary bus section, and we're going to split our drummer signal in two, sending a portion of the signal over to bus 10. So we're going to pull the dial all the way up to 0.0, .0 or unity gain. And the other thing we're going to do is click and hold just here and come down to pre-fader. What that does is we split the signal coming into the channel strip before the signal hits the channel fader. So it doesn't matter what we do right here, it won't affect the amount of signal going over to this bus. Let's call this bus para drums. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the stereo out and this time we're going to send the main drum channel through to another bus, bus 11. And we're going to call this run here, drum mix. Okay, now let's go back a step and click once on here. And now we're looking at the para drums bus channel, bus 10. And once again, we're going to select here and we're going to send this to drum mix. Let's look at this on the mixer. We've got our main drum channel right here and that's feeding through and that is outputting to bus 11 which is this one right here, drum mix. We've also got our power drums on bus 10, and that also is outputting to bus 11 drum mix, okay? So both of these are feeding through to here. Okay, now everything is set up and ready for us to apply our parallel compression. So first thing we do is click here and make sure we are seeing power drums over here. Fine, now I'm going to be using some of my favorite plugins for drums. And these of course are from the Waves bundle. I'll be using a virtual model of the legendary classic API 2500 bus compressor on my power drums channel. And the reason for this is because of the amount of control you have over the signal and the color and tone you get as a result. However, you can use any compressor for this particular job, even the fantastic Logic Pro compressors. Just as a rule of thumb, you wanna aim for a fairly slow attack and a fairly quick release. And I set my compression ratio between six and 10 to one. So let's silence the volume of the main drum track. And now let's have a listen to what's going on over here on these parallel drums. Let's bypass the compressor first of all. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit weird, but this is exactly what we want. That sort of pumping sound of the drums that we're going to ease in underneath the main drum track. So let's pull this all the way down now. And now let's bring up the main drum track about here and play back. So you heard the difference in the dynamics of the drums as I switched between the original drums and then I combined it with this power drums underneath. And you can continue to adjust the controls on the compressor to your taste. And then the amount of blend between the over compressed drum signal and the main drum track. We're not talking about loudness, we're talking about fatness and more punch, but there's still a few more things I'm gonna do to add even more fantastic character to this sound. So let's start by removing some of these things on the main channel strip. However, we will be adding another compressor and this will be the CLA 76, which is a modeling of the vintage Universal Audio 1176 compressor limiter. And I'm gonna go for the Bluey Start Me Up preset just to get things going. Let's mute the power drums for now so we can just listen to the main drum track. Great. Next thing I'm gonna add is the Waves Kramer HLS, which is a modeling of the legendary Helios console channel strip. And once again, I'm gonna kick it off with the preset, the PA default. Now let's have a listen with these two plugins on the main drum track.
Now you can hear the change in the character and tone of the drums, but there's more we can do to create an even more dramatic drum sound. So right here on the para drums, we're going to also insert an instance of the Helios channel strip. And again, we're gonna go with the PA default. So let's bring these in together. Lovely. Now remember, you're going to make the adjustments according to what you want to hear, but these are the tools that can actually get you there. Now there are a couple more simple things I want to add, and then we can do a full AB. So you'll remember when we set up our routing at the beginning, we had our main drum track, as well as our power drums feeding through to bus 11. As you can see here on the mixer, the main drums and the power drums output to bus 11. 11 right here, which is drum mix. What we're going to do now is once again, we're inserting an instance of the Helios channel strip. And once again, I'm just going to go for PA default. You can make the adjustments according to the levels and dynamics of your material. And the last thing we're going to add on here is an instance of the Waves SSL bus compressor. And we're going with the Joe West West drum bus preset. So let's hear what we got. Listen to how much beefier and live the drums are sounding compared to the drum sound that we started off with. Now this last technique is something you can use, but definitely use it with caution. It's not necessary, but it can definitely add something extra. On the main drum track and before the console channel strip, I've got an instance of the Waves Abbey Road Chambers Reverb. I'm using a preset Mark Ralph drum snap, and I'm using this to add some extra ambience to the overall sound of the kit. And if you notice right here, I've got the dry wet control very low down. In fact, I'll start from zero and ease it in. Once again, just to add some more character to the drums. So let's put it all the way down to zero. So all we're gonna get is the dry signal and then we ease it in to hear what happens. Yeah, just that little extra bit of body that happens before all of this processing. Don't forget, this here is feeding through to this processing over here, so it's going to be amplified, so you don't wanna give it too much. So now what we're gonna do is bring in our bass line, and on the bass, I've got my favorite bass plugin, which is a CLA bass, and let's have a quick listen to what this is doing to the bass. Just to remind you, I'll be uploading this Logic project file so you can download it and experiment with the project exactly as you're seeing it right here. A link will be in the description for you to do so. Lovely. So now let's combine everything together so we can hear the difference this technique and these plugins are making to the overall mix, doing an A-B comparison of the original drum sound and this new beefed up sound. Remember, if I'm bringing you value, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. And remember, you can try out all of these fantastic Waves plugins by using the links in the description. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.